Hey guys, it's DC here and uh, today's episode is brought to you by Procrastination. I've, um, I've finished a contract and I'm waiting for the next one to come up so now I'm just sitting back and chilling out every single day. Yeah, today I wanted to talk to you about what I actually do as a cybersecurity uh, engineer or specialist or whatever role it is I'm doing. Um, so this is fairly loosely cybersecurity related but um, sort of day in, day out tasks. So starting off, first thing I do, I go to work and I grab a coffee. Uh, usually there's a cafeteria on site, I'll grab a coffee from, from there. If there's no cafe, that's better, nearby. And uh, yeah, then after that, I, I sit down at work and the first thing I'll be doing, um, if it's defensive security, I'll be checking over uh, the latest CVEs if I haven't checked over them the night before uh, or I'll be uh, going through a bunch of tickets usually there's tickets that have been assigned to a security team and I'll, I'll see if anything has been assigned to me and then organize those by priority um, it's it's important to sort of go through these two things first before you sort of start getting right into your day um, just because at the end of the day you need to support the people that are paying you and if if they can see that tickets are being closed and things are being actioned they they tend to be a lot happier with your performance um, so yeah after checking those and probably going through a few of them there is almost every day there is at least one or two meetings there's, there's always at least one meeting and uh, the first meeting is usually a task that you're going to go through today and this is more for a contract position. They, they really want to know exactly what you're going to be doing and what they're paying you for. So every morning, it's usually around 10 o'clock, 10.30ish, they want to know what you're doing for that day and how your progress has been on any projects that you've been doing. Um, so I guess Something I would do every day in those meetings is I outline everything that I completed the day before. So I've got something to show them that I'm, I'm doing or have done and, um, and then go through what I plan to do for the rest of today and hopefully have completed by tomorrow and any progress on any uh, projects that I'm, I'm still working on. Um, so quickly, just how long these things take, it's usually uh, the CV checking can take from this long to as long as you like, um, depending on how many have been released the night before. If any have been released, they usually do every few hours. And ticket checking and going through those can also take quite a lot of time. Um, I, usually on a contract position, you're being employed to complete a project. So, and, and most of the time those projects are a firewall policy, migration um, or a, a system upgrade to a, a later firmware version of whatever firewall system they're running. Um, that's, that's usually how the contracts work. Um, so a project, as a, a broad project to complete the project would take somewhere between, oh, it's, it's usually at least two months to perhaps six months to do a, a migration, depending on how big it is of course. This motherfucker's staring at me. It's not weird to talk to a camera, okay? Yeah, so a project usually takes around six months to complete, maybe one year, um, depending on how big the site is that you're doing the project for and how big the team is that you're working for and how much resources they want to throw at the project. Uh, each daily task item takes between one hour and a few hours. Again, it depends what it is. So, for example, CVEs take around two hours to go through and check off, keeping in line with your whatever ISO that they're, they're running. Checking through the ticket system can take as, as long as you like, really. The meetings usually go for one hour. And yeah, so after the meeting, it's lunchtime. I'll sit down, have some lunch, chill out, talk some shit online. Yeah, after lunch, I uh, usually go 
back to completing whatever it was I was doing. So, like, it's kind of hard to explain, I guess, but most of the time, in defensive security anyway, you're going through CVEs and tickets. It's, it's most of the job. That's pretty much what the entire job is. Um, if it's a contractor position, you're gonna be doing your firewall migration, so you'll be going through those tasks. Uh, tasks of a firewall migration differ on the system. Most of the time, it's migrating like for like, so you're gonna be grabbing whatever policies there were before and moving them onto a, a new policy system. So, as an afternoon task, you're sort of winding down uh, what you have done through the day and any items that are outstanding that you haven't completed. A lot of the job seems to be mostly around uh, time management and managing your own project and whatever tasks you are assigned to. A lot of the time they also work on a, um, like an agile system. Uh, if you don't know agile, have a look. Basically, agile in a nutshell is you're assigned to a sprint and those sprints are tasks in a project and you have to have them completed by the deadline. Thanks for watching guys. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment. I'm always happy to answer your questions. Thanks.